Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a video on turkey burgers. Um, I think this is a good way to make turkey burgers if you guys are just making plain old turkey burgers um, with the mix that I make um, with the onion soup mix. I just want to share this with you guys and this is how I make my turkey burger. So stay tuned. Okay, you're going to need a big pan and you're going to add your turkey meat in here that you have. You're also going to need some onion soup mix as you can see this have onion soup mix and guys this gives the turkey a uh, very good flavor and you can actually use it with regular ground beef um, as well you want to take this onion soup mix and you just want to add it here in your bowl and I'm going to give you another idea no I don't have a barbie computer honey but anyway you're going to take this and mix this in here for some of you guys that don't eat onions you can do this Wait, hang on a second. Okay, for those of you that um, don't eat onions, what you can do, if you have a small strainer like this right here, one of the net strainers, you can actually to still get the flavor in. This is what I do sometimes when I use more than one onion soup mix. And I, I take this and I pour it in here. And I actually sift and get just um the other mix and not the onions on it but in this case we eat onions here so they go in there but that was just a way to show you guys how you can do it so you want to mix all this right here in well very well get it all in there good now as you guys can see i've gotten everything mixed and what i do is i get me some of the meat and I rub it into a ball about that size and then I flatten it out and then you can see here how I flatten it out and now this is just how I am getting the burgers ready I just roll around really good flatten it out getting the turkey burgers ready and the as you guys can see here, I have gotten my burgers ready um, to cook. And you see what they look like. They are ready to go. And over here, I'm going to turn the camera some. You see my two pans. And they are actually getting hot. Really hot. And I use cast iron pots. Got some smoke going on. But anyway, I use two pans because I have a big family. And... I like to feed everybody at one time, so I get the burgers going. My pan is already um, oiled, or actually it stays oiled. So when these get started, I have more than one cooking at a time. And guys, make sure you have a good spatula. And the cast iron pots get a little bit hotter than the regular pots, and they get hotter quicker. So as you can see now, I'm actually doing the burgers. As you guys can see now, try to make sure I press down on them good to make sure that they're getting re really good and done. And I'm kind of bringing them to a boil a little bit and try and make them um, stay moist. And the smell of them smells so good. As you can see, these right here are practically ready. So, show you what I'm gonna do now. Put the top back on for a second. And this is what I'm about to do. 
At this stage, I bring out my other pan. I bring out my other pan. Getting ready to get these bad boys out. So I should have already had that done. Open up my cheese. Get my cheese ready. I should already have this done. Now I'm having to rush. My cheese, open up this top. Just a few seconds. Place the cheese on. On all four of these. Put my lid back on for a few seconds. And that cheese is going to melt down. These over here are practically ready. So I'll turn these. They're ready as well. And then, now I'll do the same with these. But in the meantime, you can see how that is. I don't know if you guys can see that really good, but these are ready. There it is. A cheese turkey burger. So these are ready, and like I said, I have two pans always going so that my family can eat at one time. Nobody has to wait. Get them all served up and hot. And when I put this last burger on, because I have to do everything in rhythm, I actually start back loading up the pan again. So there you go. Those right there are starting up. I'll wash my hands right quick. As you guys can see, I've actually already put my uh, mayo, mustard, and ketchup on um, the buns. This is how my husband eats it, how he likes it. I also have some um, freshly cut up uh, onions and tomatoes. So I'm going to reach over here and I'm going to get a burger and place on there. And I'm going to get another burger. They're actually warm. And I'm going to place the other burger actually on the bread. And then this is another tip for you guys. I never, I have stopped buying lettuce um, probably about five years ago. And I always get the romaine um, salad mix. And because for two things, if I make burgers, I, um, I actually use the romaine lettuce on there. And I also have this in the refrigerator if I want to have a salad. So I always use, uh, use this. So I take my burger. And then I put, well, I actually put a little bit of the lettuce on there. And even with the carrots and all that stuff that gets on here, it's really good. You know, get all the carrots and stuff all on here. They will eat it. And you will save on a huge head of lettuce. So I actually add everything on here. Then I go... A nice slice of tomato and then I add some onions and there you have it a nice big juicy turkey burger